it's JC1424 once again with another live stream. This is the fourth medallion live stream on this game. Okay, so yeah, we're at 80% game completion. Last time we got 9% in. I'm going to try to get to 90 this time. That should be possible. Where are they racing at this weekend? They're going to Dover. I know I've already done Dover. Yeah. Um, Atlanta, they raced there recently. Let's go to Atlanta. I got this game, and I went to do a race with Tony Stewart at Orchard Raceway. That's how I pronounced it, Orchard Raceway. And I was like, wow, that's an ugly car. Oh, well, it's my favorite driver. No, this thing's fucking ugly. This is, that's like the color of my hair right now. Before I was even trying to put together that microphone for no dang reason, there was a tree roach. You know tree roaches, like one finds its way into your house like maybe once a month or something. You know, sometimes the roaches, they're slow. They're already half dead because they ate some roach bait. You know, bait does that. You know, all you do is pick them up. But a tree roach? This dude was healthy as fuck. He was off on an adventure. He, he, he went under some dirty laundry that hadn't been picked up. And then he, he skedaddled, skadoodled across the room to the shelf. And then he went out and back to the shelf. And he went to the dresser. And I, I sprayed him here. I sprayed him there. And he's still going. And finally, he starts climbing up the dresser, gets on the Nintendo 64, starts going to my phone. I'm like, God damn, calm the ass down. Like, who asked for this shit? I'm reading something in the library on the computer about what is going on over here? What the fuck? Someone killed Clint Boy. <laughs> Okie dokie. So, yeah, I was sitting in the library reading about how it was a bad thing for Brad Keselowski to be winning the championship. Clint Boyer's ass is still on fire. That's our first lap car. Oh my god, it is the the beloved, blessed ESPN car that I have a, a, a pending... Fuck, a, a, it's on my queue of NASCAR Let's Plays. I want to do Let's Play as this car someday. Just because. ESPN car. So that's our second lap car. Now, feel free to mute the stream if you don't want to hear this. It is TMI. But here we go. As I'm going to lap a third car. Okay, fine. I guess this is going in the highlights. Yeah. I drank like two packs of Frostbite Mountain Dew during the hurricane evacuation, and it turned my shit green. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I should stop drinking this. <laughs> Which, I hate hazing. There, there's so many different levels that are bad to hazing. But, yeah. We are lapping Kevin Harvick. That is the fourth car. We're lapping this race. We're getting there. They are so spaced out. There's a giant pack of them over there. Change your son's name to from Dalton to Sydney while they're like, I don't know, 18. We're lapping Denny Hamlin. Is this the fifth lap car? Game. I haven't cleared him yet, so maybe I got to clear him. Fifth lap car? Yay! Lap five cars. Well, cautions aren't on. We got a big old pack of cars right here to sort through. Ugh. Okay, they blew a tire. They're still hitting me. Oh, I'm tumbling. I'm tumbling. Yeah! Okay, it's over. Why did it take me so long to lose my spoiler? Honestly, not even I like Bub Wallace, but I am a fan of his team owner, Denny, Delivery Man, Hamlin. Yeah, I'm kind of a fan of Hamlin at this point. Um, He's flaky as shit, that's for sure. Anyways, we mastered Atlanta. Two medallions for lapping five cars and another for mastering the track. We mastered Atlanta Motor Speedway. Disabled the, the pole thing. Charlotte. Okay, we're going to Charlotte. Somebody pick a track. Um, Bobby Labonte. Oh, yes, we're going with damn Cheerios car. Okay. So, yeah, I'm, I'm missing all these opportunities to freaking... Uh... Yeah, I'm missing all these opportunities to give shout outs and actually have them in the video. Maybe whenever I start the race. What's coming after the Chase Till 8 NASCAR rival season? <laughs> Why do people keep asking me that? I have said it like four times. I can say it again and again on the Discord. And I can say it in videos. I can say it in someone's live stream chat that everyone is in. And somehow people still don't know that we're doing a NASCAR 8 PS3 series as Casey Kane this summer. I could give another example. Watch. I'm going to try to turn him into the infield. 
There's no way you can have enough horsepower to do that. Are you seeing this shit? That's that doesn't make sense. Now this. That's what I'm talking about. That makes sense. Ninja NASCAR 24 developed by Codemasters and published by Electronic Arts. I would not have high hopes for that. But it'd be a lot more worth playing than NASCAR Rivals and NASCAR Ignition. Not Heat 5 or Heat 4. Uh, I'd say it might be on on par with like Heat 3 if that actually happened. But it's just if it's going to be anyone, it's going to be racing in monster games. So we're lapping two cars right now. We lap a Napa fantasy car and an O'Reilly's fantasy car. The O'Reilly fantasy car is ugly as shit. No, don't pass Dale Jr. That'll break the rubber banding. Are y'all seeing this? I am going so slow. I am slowing down. I can't get clear. I feel like both NASCAR 21 and NASCAR rivals are art. Bad games to quite an extent. With NASCAR 21 Ignition, there's no question. But on Rivals, it's debatable. Because it's like half of Rivals is bad, but then the other half is really solid, or too easy for that matter. We just slapped our third car of the race. And we've got three more in front of us. So I guess I'm going to lap all these guys, and then we're going to destroy the race car after getting our medallion. Would you stop driving into me, Barney? Barney was a purple dinosaur from my imagination. Okay, I just slapped the fifth car right there, that, that red car, and it didn't give me a medallion. So I'm going to lap Craig Biffle. Is that it? Okay, now we've done it. Ta-da! Ta-da! Ugh! Okay, I got a roof damage. A ton of roof damage? I didn't know that was a thing. How is the back of this car so intact? I mean, I did hit it head on. I don't know. Go straight. Go straight. No, go straight. Hey, I'm overheating the engine. Hey, hit me. Hit me. There we go. The back of the car is still intact. I'm trying to go. Thank you for smashing me even more. I now have a flat tire. This is the third time I've been hit and I can't destroy the race car. Can y'all please hit me? Please. Please hit me. Please hit me. Please. Destroy my car. Thank you. Why'd that take so long? This is the best part. Ugh! I just mastered this track. Turn that off. And before we go actually look at our medallions, I want to shout out like everyone that's actually watching the stream. It's freaking almost 11 o'clock at night. Eli the Wolf, What If Racing, not Matt DiVenedetto. Uh, Viper TV. That's an unfamiliar name. Uh, the Voco Dex. Star, that's also a name that I'm not used to. And some of these people have been here for a long time, but they changed their names, profile figures, and everything. I don't even know who I'm talking about anymore. Uh, Gojira fan, 1954. Canada at War, shout out to you. And MM Man 2B8. Uh, and everything, left turns. And shout out to Not Easy Low. And I'm going to scroll all the way back down to the bottom. Yeah. And Sydney Westbrooks, even though that's. Dalton D. Or JFK. I don't need to shout out JFK. I put him in a NASCAR 06 video that went out like the other day. We got all these damn fantasy tracks. I dread Daytona infield. That track is so damn big. The corners are tight, so that might help on rookie difficulty. Dockside is just frustrating to actually race at on this game. I'm seeing so... <laughs> Devil's Canyon, Darlington, Chicago. We should do all three at the same time. I had the casual once a month, maybe, in Louisiana tree roach find its way into the house. And this guy was just full of adrenaline and excitement, and I just forgot to qualify. Damn it, get the fuck out of here. I am not about to just pass 20 cars this track. I don't feel like it. I got a super chat from Everything Left Turns. Buy yourself an overpriced coffee. I don't think there are any coffee places open at, like, 1 o'clock in the morning whenever I'm done with the stream. Okay. What? I didn't even get the poll. I'm starting four. It's rookie difficulty. What's the deal, game? I've been playing NASCAR games for 20 years. 20, 
two years? And I can't get the pole? What is it? I mean, in Thunder 04, yeah, but this is an arcadey cheap game. So, like, Dale Jr. doesn't have tires. Why is Dale Jarrett on the pole? Man, I don't know. Here we come. This is the first car I'm lapping of the race. That was Patrick the Carpenter in an alternate scheme. That's, like, Wanda Sykes or whoever in the fantasy Napa car. Ow! Kenseth. Kenseth! Why are you back here? Why are you driving so slow? So, we lap two. This is going to be three and four. Casey Kane is doing awful. So, Kenseth's hood is gone. Well, there's his hood on the track. I could have hit that. Now, I'm trying to lap Jeff Burton. He has decided he does not want to be that. This was uh, pretty fast, though. I mean, if you think about it, 46 second laps. And, oh, okay, basically. Oh, that's where it is. That's why there's smoke and tire marks all over this part of the track. The rubber banding kicks in here, and it just kicks in gear. So that, that's what's happening for them. Now they're all slowing down again at this section of the track. Oh, my God, Jeff Burton. Have I not lapped five cars? Did you? <laughs> there we go. We've lapped five cars. So. Ugh. Oh, I've never driven around this track backwards. Or maybe I have at one point. I don't remember. Ugh. Oh, I blew the engine instantly. And the flames. Look at all that debris. That's nice. Nice to have debris. I miss having debris in NASCAR games. I feel like that hasn't happened since NASCAR 15. God damn. But yeah, we, we mastered Devil's Canyon Speedway. Also, shout out to Samit Ozken in chat right now. So I got to lap five cars, darling. And that's... That's going to take a bit. It's a shorter track, but it's still pretty long. See, look, you got rookie stripes. And then Kevin Harvick, he's not a rookie, so he doesn't have them. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh. I'm not even doing anything, and it's getting sideways. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Thank you! Did I, did I just ear rape with that? Or was that was it all good? <laughs> it finally happened. I've been holding in that sneeze for, like, a whole evening. By the way, we're finally lapping cars. I am trying to push Ryan and past him, because that makes it a faster process. See how it's so easy to pass him? We're, we're driving really slow. I can speed things up now. I have my third car of the race right here. My fourth car of the race, Newman, please stop sucking. Hey, that's my favorite fantasy car EA Sports ever made because it is gorgeous. And we've lapped five cars. Okay, so we've mastered Darlington. Ow. Ugh. Oh, destroyed immediately. Jeff Gordon and Paul Menard. Menard stuck upside down. I'm up upside down. Oh, they're all piling in. Oh, God, Jeff Burton. <laughs> okay, that was that was a great ending to that one. What game would you say handles the best out of all NASCAR games ever made? Uh, I want to say Thunder 2004, but like the default setups are extremely tight at half the tracks. I think once you adapt to the setups in NASCAR Thunder 2004, they handle really, really good. But that's the thing is like, what do you mean by good handling? Because the the cars, you know, they t they take skill to drive and skill to not fuck up, but they, they feel good to drive. Versus the the latter heat games, they they handle really well, really easy. They hook up, and they only wreck if you just suck. And then you gotta bring up you technics because how realistic it is. But that's not handling right there. If we're gonna talk about uh the most realistic of all NASCAR games, that's one thing. But when it comes to handling, so we mastered Darlings and have to go to Chase Plates. But yeah, if we're talking about handling alone, the best handling cars you'll ever get in a NASCAR game is probably the latter heat games because they hook up so easily. But realism, like actual effort to drive and skill feels really nice and all that, I would give that to Thunder 04. And then if not that, like NASCAR 15, the cars in NASCAR 15 and I guess 14 too, they drive so goddamn s smoothly and, and proper. Um, and it's it's not just a, a sandbag it thing like the, the latter heat games. But when it comes to handling, I, I like how they, they feel overall in the, the latter heat games.
It just hooks up perfectly. JG Ely. Oh, yeah, I love that car. Okay, so we got JG Ely for now, and then Viper TV, I'll, I'll pick what driver you want uh, next race. I got to remember to do that. So we're, we're going to Chicagoland now with JG Ely. Okay. Yeah, he's definitely better than Matt DiBenedetto. He's won more truck races than Matt DiBenedetto. Matt DiBenedetto finally won a race in a series. God damn. But it was on a, a plate track, and he didn't even legitimately win it. So yeah, I would have to say Bob Wallace is better than Matt DiBenedetto at this point. I just fucking hate him. He does not control his freaking temper whatsoever. So we've just lapped three cars like it was nothing. Kyle Busch tier path of destruction right after his teammate had their career ended from a minute hit into a wall during qualifying and he took out his teammate in the process the, like the timing in the mess was just tone deaf we just lapped a fourth car okay yeah then i'm watching this video just just giving up a, a, a relap not a relap a recap god damn i'm terrible with words yeah, we got a recap of his career, and he's just a total douche. And I'm like, okay, that's enough. I've had enough of this. I've also had enough of lapping cars, because I got the medallion. Ugh. Okay, I hit Truex. That's, that's not who I was aiming for. At least I didn't hit Casey Mears. Ugh. Oh, Newman got me. Okay. Oh! Sorensen. Kenseth. Oh, we're all flipping. I can't rotate the camera to get a better angle on this, unfortunately. So... Well, Truex is upside down. Yeah, wrecked your car. Oh, they're all over the place. Richard Petty driving experience car over there is wrecked. Newman's still upside down. Yeah, I played Speedway Racing just to show it to my girlfriend uh, a while back. But casually? No, not, not really. I, I got Speed Truck Racing for the Nintendo Switch, and I did a video on that. If you didn't see that... You should definitely check it out. Speed Truck Racing is actually better than Speedway Racing. By quite a bit. I mean, it's got road courses. It's got dirt road courses. It's got dirt oval. And then it's got a paved oval. I mean, it's got all this. It's, that's awesome. The handling is still stupid as shit. Uh, first, I got to go to the chase plates. And we are going to turn off Chicago. Um, Chicago. Yeah. This is timely. Let me check this again. It's, uh... It, it's... A 220-mile race, the Grant Park uh, Chicago race for NASCAR Cup Series. So let me type that in. Grant Park 220. It's going to be 100 laps. Uh, yeah, 354 kilometers. So yeah, why they could have called it like the McDonald's 350. And then they could have this $3.50 deal at McDonald's. <laughs> And I don't, that just makes sense to me from this capitalist, you know, advertising standpoint. But no, they're not doing that. They're just calling it the Grant Park 220. I don't know. Okay, I guess we're going to Dockside. You didn't even spell into SE4R right. You put NS2C4R. That's like NASACAR, not instead of NASCAR. Exactly. You said it was based on content, but then you gave it an F. Joseph's content was just mid. He was not very innovative. His idea of being innovative was just following trends. And he was arrogant, but you know, that, that doesn't really matter. That wasn't actually in his freaking content. That was just on Twitter and shit. That's why I already was starting to not like Joseph Lombard, was because he was so arrogant. And then he started being like, hey, you're 17. Like my dick? And okay, so that's Joseph for you. Patrick Carpenter, okay. You're only saying that because I'm already sitting on the drive for an extended period of time. You get to look at this gorgeous paint scheme. Guitar Hero. Damn, playing Guitar Hero while watching JC1424 stream NASCAR overnight. What a chill night. That sounds awesome. What's funny is that whenever I invite Kate over, he loves bringing... Ow. Okay. Is this two laps? No, it's one lap. Fuck. And in general, this track is shit. It suck. It feels awful to drive. I mean, maybe it's just a car, but I don't remember driving that good in Thunder 04 either. I don't even feel fast. I don't know what else I can do. I did the best I could. 
I can't start anywhere aside from last. Dude, this game fucking sucks dick. I'm just gonna have to start in the middle of the field. I don't... Oh. Oh. I have no grip. I have no rear grip and I have no front grip. Unless I drive slow. Even if I'm driving fast, it feels slow. I'm gaining on the leader very, very little. I tried dumping Carl Edwards, so I don't have to- Ow! Would you go fuck your own fucking friend limb, you goddamn son of a bitch! Stop hitting me from behind! I just got passed on rookie difficulty. It sucks. I'm giving it all I got and I'm getting fucking passed. This track sucks so bad. I want to fucking die. Oh. Fuck this fucking shit. Fuck this shit. It's fucking garbage. I need a better fucking car. I hate this fucking track. It sucks. It's stupid. There's no front grip. There's no rear grip. The AI are blowing right through me in the fucking corner. They don't even use the brakes. They get super powered. So they wanted getting... Ow. I'm fucking sick of that. I'm sick of this stupid guardrail that's just there to kill people. So we're just gonna go running me over again. We're going to go fucking running me over again. I want to fucking kill myself. What's your opinion on Balls Gaming? What is that? I've never even heard of that. Um, I'm not an advocate for gaming with my testicles, but... I'm not gonna judge if someone's trying to do that, I don't know. <laughs> testicles Gaming. Alright, this guy is not on the track. Hey, that's the car I was trying to do this last time. He can't even keep the car on the track because it's too tight. So, that is our first lap car. I think that might be considered as running full speed. It ain't running too well for him. Me yelling at this game because the car is such a piece of shit is definitely going in the highlights. But uh, yeah, this drive is better. This track just... I can drive almost every other track with that other car. This one... This track, no. I can only drive with a good car. That's the problem. Yeah, keep it smooth, just like that. Well, see, I finally lapped somebody, but because I'm the leader, and I've got a big lead, they're making all the lap cars rubber bands, so that makes it take even longer to lap them. But then they go slowing down a ton up here. Watch how much they slow down up here, now that they're done rubber banding through turn one. So that's two lap cars. That's three lap cars. <laughs> Very intriguing how this game is just broken in half the places. Okie dokie then. Oh my god, this is another point for them. That's five. There you go. We finally lapped five cars at Dockside. That took 40 laps and every lap is 45 seconds. Fuck my fucking ass. Here we go. Fuck the top ten. They were annoying for so long. Thank you, Mr. Waltrip. Let's tumble cow bush. Okay. Yeah. Oh, they're all stopping. No, go faster. Hey, everybody hit us. Everybody hit us. Yeah. Kyle Petty. Damn, one guy went backwards. They're all getting in on it. Yeah, I can't get, like, an extreme amount of damage from sitting here like this. Ugh. Ugh, there we go. Sam Hornets Dune. <laughs> Crashing was JD Land. Hey, you're new. I saw you you followed me on Twitter and you joined the Discord and now you're in the live stream chat. I swear you just found this channel too. So all all at once. We mastered Dockside International Raceway. Because it's a fancy track, I'm not getting a pole position plate for that. I'm unlocking something. What am I unlocking? I don't even remember. Put a, I can't put a, a flash drive in there and do anything. I'll use a flash drive to... Oh my god, it's Evan McLeod. You're 19? Okay, so yeah, you were way older whenever you started watching this channel. 
So, like, I don't know, 12? <laughs> I guess that's fair. You, you're, you, you started watching your 12, and seven years has gone by, and so cut off. <laughs> Damn. Evan McLeod has graduated high school since um, he started watching this channel. Whenever he started watching this channel, he was, like, in middle school. <laughs> He was Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone years old. I guess we're we're going indie. I don't know if that that's a pretty big track. You know what's weird is that whenever I started doing YouTube, two of the people that I um I remember it still from all the way back. I back then was like Francisco Yo, Evan McLeod. There there's a few of them. Um, there was NASCAR on MDK who. Um, he's made it big now. Uh, we don't talk that much anymore. I mean, I, I try to watch his videos, leave comments, but you know, we don't really communicate that much anymore. Uh, who else is every who can I think of? Uh, Raja Karuth. <laughs> he uh he watched this channel whenever I, I first started. I remember seeing him um like in my comments here and there. Well. He's now racing in the NASCAR truck series, so there's that. <laughs> so, we're going to have pit stops on. I'm going to try to make it so that we can take a bunch of pit stops if we need to and make it easy to lap cars. Pit stops will help the field spread out. There's no cautions on it. I am trying to wreck Ryan Newman. I am not succeeding. He did not like that I did that. <laughs> Fine. So, Michael Walter. What the fuck? How? How does that even happen? Man, come on. Huh. Oh my. Oh my god. Well, he's not in there away, so. Okay, here we go. Ugh. Why was that so difficult? I'm trying to avoid a fucking anti gravity shit happening over here. So enjoy it, but. Ugh. Okay then, so that happened. Ugh. Oh boy. Damn. Yeah, Carl Edwards is really good. This is game Carl Edwards. You can never be dumped enough times to go the air. Coming up on two cars lap. What are you doing? Don't hit the brakes. Go fast. Yeah, that's Mark Martin. He just hit the free. Damn. That's not gonna help him go any faster. So he was up to speed, he was on the track, so that counts. And then we've got Clint Boyer over here. I'm going to share drafts so you stop being pissed off at me. I don't need that. That's two. So, we're going to lap our second car of the race, I guess. And that is Elliot Sadler. Unless I can't count and we already lapped our third car, and that's the fourth. I don't know. Oh my god, we're just going to fly past the whole week out. we got to be down a cylinder. The 137 car is not coming at all. He's, he's going. That's what's... Oh my god, would you not? Okay. Yeah, we're coming up on our fifth car that we got to lap. And if it's not that one because some guy was like down on speed or some bullshit... Then it'll be one of those guys ahead. Da da! Lap five cars. There is a big old pack for me to catch up speed before we actually get to. Uh, uh, oh, we hit Bobby Labonte. He's blown up. My ass. Oh, uh, just three hits took it. Oh. Oh, they all go piling in. Yeah, there we go. I knew that second pack was coming. God damn. I wish I could rotate the camera. All right, then. Look at Kevin Harvey. Oh, Regan Smith. You have wrecked your car. That is correct. Bobby Labonte may have been hospitalized from that. That is correct, J.D. Land. Yeah, shout out to J.D. Land, Evan McLeod, everything left turns, Sydney Westbrook, even though that's, just, that's Dalton. And you, know, you guys still chatting with me late in the stream. I think I had, like, concurrent viewers of basically 11 on average in the second half of the stream. They kind of st stuck around, like, 8 and 9 early on. Okay, so that's the new thumbnail since that happened. Holy crap. 
save successful, we go from 80% to 89. Come on, man. I got a feeling that I'm not even going to get 100% game completion by getting all the medallions because of the stupid team order shit in career mode. That's just mysterious. There's no way of actually knowing if you've gotten them all. Uh, well, thanks for watching, everybody. It was one of the better streams I, I've done on this channel in a long time as far as viewership. See you next time. That's that. And live stream over.